how to create a Fiverr gig image design on Canva. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a professional looking Fiverr gig image design on Canva. So let's get into it. Now, everyone has heard of Fiverr. It is a freelancing platform and you can offer any kind of services. I have already covered on how to create your own Fiverr account and set up your account and fill in those details. But once you have your account set up, you are start. You are going to start creating your gigs. And once you have a gig, whatever kind of gig it might be, even if it's in programming and tech, business, lifestyle, or whatever, you will still have to create one of these images to post those gigs. And once you have to create those images, you want to make sure that they are as professional looking and as gorgeous as possible for you to be getting booked more frequently. So if you want a professional looking image for your Fiverr gig, then I would suggest using Canva. Now, Canva is a free to use graphic design platform. All you have to do is sign up via your Gmail address or any email address that you might have, and you can begin using Canva. Now to get started with creating our Fiverr image, we are going to first off take an example image. So let's say we are going to create a gig image for social media marketing and I'll go into social media marketing and you can see these are the current gig images and you can take one of these as a reference for you to further recreate or you can just, you know, get inspired by a few of these images to create your own image. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go on to canva.com and then you're going to click on custom size over over here change this from pixels to inches make sure to do that or if you don't want to do a custom size then you can click on presentation over here and open a presentation template a blank presentation template and then you will be ready to create your own fiber image now the larger your image the better image quality you will get and on the top over here you're going to select that and we are just going to name this our fiber image like so and now you can see on your left you have different portfolio or presentation templates that you can get started with as well but we're going to get started from scratch and we're going to click on elements over here and once we click on elements we can choose certain elements to add on to our fiber gig platform uh so let's say i want to create something along these lines like i want to create something that's interesting yet it is not too overfilled so what i'm going to do is first off i'm going to select the blank canvas over here and I am just going to change the color of this into a light pink color just to match like Instagram colors because I want to be um, creating a image for social media marketing for Instagram so I'm just going to use the Instagram pink color if I can find that just use any kind of pink that resembles the Instagram pink and once I do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my element section I'm going to search for square over here and I'm just going to take this empty square and now I'm going to expand this over here and I'm just going to resize this like so and then I'm going to change the color to black and then with black color, I'm gonna, going to go into the transparency on the top right, and then you can make it translucent like so. This basically just allows you to add more depth onto your Instagram platform. So we're just going to place that over here like so, and we're just going to expand it a bit more like this until it is right at the center and you can see those purple lines on your screen which will enable you to align it perfectly so once you see all four purple lines it means that your boxes are aligned to the center and right now mine is aligned to the center now what i'm going to do is if you have any of your own images for your advert or for your for your image then you can upload your own image over here if you don't have your own image you can just go into your element section and i'm just going to search for business women because i'm just going to use a stock image as a reference but obviously you are going to be using your own image and i'm just going to take this image and place it over here then i'm going to expand it and if you want to change the color of any of these illustrations from in, uh, from Canva, then you can just click on these top left image colors over here and you can select a color and then change it from here as well. But I find this to be uh, fine. If I want to change the skin color, I can just open this up and I can just make it like a darker skin tone if I want, a lighter skin tone, whatever you might want, you can change that like so. Now, once I have done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the element section. I'm going to search for arrows over here in the element section of Canva. 
So once I search for arrows, you can see there are quite a few recommendations. And if, if, and if I click, and if I click on one of these, uh, this will open up these arrows. And I have these magic recommendations, which are recommendations for similar similar kinds of illustrations. And what I can do is I can click on see all, and then I will have further recommendations on more things that are similar to this. So I can just add a few arrows like this, and I'm going to rotate this to 90 degrees. And I'm just going to place it over here and then I'm going to rotate this to 90 degrees as well and I'm going to place this right beside the initial hollowed arrows that I placed so it looks pretty nice now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this larger arrow span and I'm going to rotate this as well and I'm going to place it on the other side of my image and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the text section now there are two options over here you can either go with a simple text or you could go with one of these font combinations and there are quite a few different gorgeous font combinations available on Canva and you can choose one of those I do prefer for most beginners that you should just go on with a font combination instead of going with a simple font because it will just make your life a whole lot easier and then what we're going to do is we are going to go into uh, this font over here i'll take this font combination and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the font combination and i'm actually going to ungroup this because these are two types of text grouped together and once i have ungrouped this what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the background text and I'm just going to take this neon text over here. I'm going to rotate this back straight instead of it being tilted. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my uh, add my services. So it's social media marketing, media marketing for Instagram like this. And now I'm going to expand my text block, resize this like so. And then you can also change the font if you choose to do that. Now I'm just going to select my text over here and I'm going to choose the font. I'm going to choose another font to make it look a little bit more professional. So you can just go with a more simple font if you choose like this. And you can also change the color of certain text. Like if I have Instagram over here, I can change the color to pink for the Instagram. So it looks like, you know, a bit more on to the brand look. So once I've done that, I can go into the text section. I can take some simpler text. So I would just take some simpler text over here, change the color to white. And then I would add some of my marketing services like Instagram boost, Instagram follower boost like this. And then you can just list some of your basic services that your packages include. So then you're just going to do command C and then command V or control C and then control V of this. So we're just going to take this once more. And then we're just going to add some more of our services. So we're going to go back with white text and we're going to add uh, Instagram growth like so and we are just going to resize this text as well and then you can add as much as you want or as little depending on the type of advert you create then you can also go back into your element section and you can use some of these simple lines or some of the other designs as well to further decorate the frames of your advert and once you have begun you know the design process you're going to find it to be very easy to complete it because it's not very difficult to design on canva it is pretty simple Simple and most people can easily follow along and once you have done that all you have to do is click on share on the top right over here click on download click on PDF standard or PNG or JPEG whatever is the type of uh, format that you prefer you can upload any of those onto Fiverr click on download over here and then your gorgeous image for your Fiverr gig is ready so that was it for today I hope you guys found this video helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comment box down below and I will make sure to answer answer those and make sure to subscribe and like this video and I will catch you guys in the next video.